guys, we have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to talk, guys. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Ah, thank you for the time for the 10 minutes. I appreciate it. Because a lot of time, I'll be rushing through my messages and I don't be liking it because I really like to go and to take my time and allow the Holy Spirit to use me. But before we dive into the messages for today, let us pray. And so, Yahweh, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you for whoever that is listening to me today. I do not know what they are going through, but you know, Papa. So I ask you to help them through their journey, through life, Papa. I pray, Papa, I'm pleading to you. I am decreasing because I'm pleading to you to increase, Papa. I ask you to interrupt this prayer, interrupt this service, interrupt this time, Papa. This is not for my glory, but this is for your glory, Papa. I pray, Papa, that your word, as you say, your word will never come back to your void. That your words that I'm about to say out to your, kids, your children, oh Lord, I pray it's not in vain. I thank you, amen. Let us dive into it. Are you that person that is going through something? Are you that person that is going through the, the, the hard time of life? The hard time of job? The hard time of parenting? The hard time of marriage? Are you that person that is, and you, and most, some of you are Christian, been a Christian for a long time, have walked with Jesus for a long time, but are you at that stage where Everything is falling apart. Things don't make sense. You try this way, that way, the other way, and things just don't make sense. You feel like you're feeling a motherhood. You're feeling a fatherhood. You're feeling a parenting. You're feeling in your marriage. You are feeling in every aspect of your life. I'll take it to the book of Mark. I take the book of Mark 4 verses 35 and I'll read. As evening comes, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in a boat and, and, and start out, leaving the crowd behind, although other boats follow. But as soon a storm come high, high wave were breaking into the boat. It began to fill with water. Are you that person that your boat is filling with water, even though you are walking with Christ? Are you that person that your health just can get in place, but you are walking with Jesus? Are you that person your boat is filled with water, is filled with fear, with anxieties, with depression, with depressions, with anger. With anger. Your boat is filling. It's filling. You will begin to sink. You will begin to sink. Your boat is filled. You turn this way, no way. You turn that way, no way. You can't even talk to men. You can't even vent to nobody because you are the stage in your life that you don't even know. Or even you have vent said to somebody and it's still not helping. Are you in that place? Are you in that place? I'll read. I'll continue. Jesus was, Jesus was, Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat. The disciples waking up, shouting, teacher, don't you care that we are going down? Are you in a place where you're saying, master Jesus, my father and my Lord, don't you care? That my marriage is failing. Don't you care that this child that I raised for so long is leaving the home, but not in the right way. It's leaving for drugs, leaving for addiction, for addiction that is not right. Addiction that is alcohol, name it. Are you that person that's saying that, Lord, my health, Oh Lord, can you hear me? My health is not in that. It's not in the right place. Are you that person that has so many questions? Are you that person that don't sleep at night because you are asking Jesus? You are asking Jesus, can you hear me? Can you, you not see me that I am sinking? That everything that I have worked for so hard, that everything that I have suffered for so hard, that is sinking. 
that everything is sinking? Are you that person that is asking those questions? If you are that person, I have a great answer for you from the Holy Spirit. From your father, from your creator, from the great I am that I am. I have a message for you. Hold tight. You are not by yourself and you are not alone in this. I have went through that role. I have went through that stage. I was in your position. It is not for the weak. I can tell you this because. I have went to the stage where I say, Father, can you hear me? Father, I pray. I go to church every day. Can you hear me? I have been through those stages. So I know what you are going through. But let me tell you something. Let me give you an encouragement. Let me give you what I walk by every day and what have helped me and what is helping me through this journey of life. And that is number 39. Jesus woke up he rebuked the wind and said to the wave silence and be still jesus said silence and be still suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm whatever you are going through this morning i said tell it to be silence and be still Whatever you are going through that is telling you that things will not get better, that is telling you because my mom died, so life it will not go on. Tell that voice to be silenced and be still. Whatever voice that is telling you that your children will not be successful, that your children will not become anything, tell that voice to be silenced and be still in the name of Jesus. Whatever voice I tell you that your marriage will be a failure, tell that voice to be silenced and to be still. Whatever that is stopping you, whatever depression, whatever stage you are in, whatever stage life I bring you to today, that nothing makes sense at this point. That you are asking yourself and saying, Where do I go? What do I do? How do I begin? I said, Tell that voice, tell that voice to be silenced. Tell that voice to be still in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, whatever it is, Jesus has paid it all for your sin, for you. Tell that voice to be silenced and tell it to be still in the name of Jesus. Tell that voice that is in your head to be silenced and to be still. And then Jesus asks, why are you afraid? I ask you, why are you afraid? When you have the whole heaven backing you up. When you have your father, the creator of the universe, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, the I am that I am, the Yahweh himself, the ancients of days, the lion of the trap of Judas. If you have him by your side, why are you afraid? Do you still have faith? Where is your faith? Don't be afraid. Jesus said, our faith as small as a, as a master sees. Have a faith that is small as a master sees. Yahweh that begin the work in you, the good work, he will finish it in your life. Let me pray for you. And so, Lord, I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, O oh God, for whoever they honor the sign, honor the sign of my voice. You know where they at. I beg you to meet them where they at. I thank you for your grace in their life. But I thank you because I know you are with them. I know because you say I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I will be with you till the very end of time. I thank you, Papa. I bless you, O oh Lord. I thank you because I know that you will be with them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. My name is Tenet.